Hello, YouTubers. Um, today is Christmas, 25th, 2019. Um, we got a few gifts. I'm gonna turn this on in a second. I'm super excited for the future because. moments like these that give you the motivation it's not watching motivation it's the fire that's being built today and that's why Christmas is one of my favorite holidays I guess we'll see what happens. Sometimes we need Sometimes you need a second or two. Oh. Maybe more practice. So, what I just learned that I should do it right now. <laughs> I'll go outside and do it. Merry Christmas to the past, present, future this is the YouTube post Merry Christmas Bell Star Some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, can, yeah. I can watch clips of you and be like, I'm myself, and I'm like, yeah. 
It's so weird. It's so weird. The weirdest part about being friends with you is I was a fan of yours before I was friends with you. When you and Brian were doing that Joe show, mm. I was like fucking so into that. I was into this podcast before I ever got on the podcast. And so, like, wow. to know you, like, I remember telling you one time about you with Janet Jameson. You're like, I've never been with Janet Jameson. And I was like, I'm fucking pretty certain I saw it. You're like, I've never met her. And you know, I was like, no, I'm pretty sure there's a video out there of you guys at a party. And you were like, I'm pretty sure. And I was like, well, I watched it. But <laughs> yeah, like, you know more than I think him. your memory sucks. That's, that's <laughs> very I didn't that, say I'd never met Jenna Jameson. Uh, you, by the way, hang on. If there is an astute person, Jamie, you, will Jamie, hear, you will hear it on the podcast. <laughs> Are you I saying that I didn't know her? No, 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 no. This is way before she started dating Tito Ortiz. This is like a long time ago. I remember you and Jenna Jameson at a by the way, party in Phoenix. Party. I remember a party. And yeah, with her husband. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah video yeah. of her husband. She's explaining how to eat pussy. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, I, I'm not crazy. You're just ruining the story. Probably. <laughs> I wish Burt Bigley was here to save me. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving a version of the story that doesn't make sense. But, yeah, it's, it is crazy to know of people's past like lives. I'll tell you what I would love a fucking documentary about is the store. Like, cause I, they're doing one. Out. They're doing the show. Mike Binder's thing. doing it, and he's doing yeah. it real slow, which makes it give real hope that it's going to be good. He's taking like two years to do it. By the way, I'm in that documentary. I wish I hadn't said that. Out loud. You're not even <laughs> drunk. What's going on with you? <laughs> you I said I wish, stroke? I wish I was it was a documentary. documentary doing doing well, I'm, in, I'm in the fucking documentary. Did you have a stroke? I might, I might, I might, I might, I might. Let's make another cocktail. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's yeah. plenty of booze. There you go. Um, Try some of that Dan Aykroyd uh, skull. Oh, yeah. Where is Alien it? skull. Oh, that is the skull, skull one? Yeah, I'll, try, I'll try it. Is there more ice there? By yeah. Yeah. But I'm curious always to know about, like, the store when I wasn't there. Dude, it, it was the best in the early aughts. But people say it was the worst. I, for Okay, for stand-up shows, sure, it was the worst. No, 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 no. <laughs> for, its, for its entire purpose? Energy-wise, <laughs> it sounds like uh, it was horrible. No, Dom says it the best. He goes, there was this young group of, okay, I knew it as the employee section, so I don't know the people who were like 10, 12 year college, but as the employees, it was like we ran the place. It was yeah. so much fun. I just saw it as a foreign place. We would go sneak in the back to see the, like the mainstream no, comics no, no. who were fucking in the back. Aykroyd. Try yes. Oh, you want to try it? Have you tried it? I, I'm going to try it. I'm, I'm scared of drink. Dan Aykroyd's I'm alcohol. scared of any alcohol that I didn't pour in my bring with me personally. Oh, too. I just <laughs> drank some of that, man. There's nothing in there. It's just Dan Aykroyd's. We opened that. It's because of me. Like, like, I would be curious Dan to Aykroyd. know, like, uh, big fan, an big in-depth right <laughs> history of, like, I want to know, like, where it went up and then down. Like, and the certain personalities, why certain personalities didn't get closer when I thought they should have, like, in knowing them as adults... They, they should be closer. Does that make sense? Closer to what? Like, I don't know, like... Uh, closer friends, you mean? I would love to know, like, the camps. Yeah. And, like, who were in the different camps. And, yeah. like... There was no camaraderie back then. There was some camaraderie with, like, door guys. Door guys. Stuff like that. But there, was, there was a lot of, like... The, the problem was there was this leftover shit from guys who were all struggling to get sitcoms. They were all struggling to be the host of a talk show. That's topic. Soda. Yeah, it was good, Joe. You're right. It was good when the, there was a level of acceptance that the place was a failure and that we were just in it for jokes. Yes. And then we were like, we're not going to get anything because Bobby Lee was like the most successful guy because he was on Mad TV. The, the thing that was going on that was weird was that the guys that were at the higher level, there was a few that were left over that had seen Innocent take off and they had seen Dave Letterman take off and they were still there. Right and they were, they were, yeah, there were, there were, there was a few of those guys that were left behind. And they were very bitter, and they did not like young guys. They, there was a different thing. Like today, when young guys are coming up or young girls, anybody who's funny at the store gets love. You know, whether it's a doorman or someone who works at the booth, there's no like, there's no anyone. No one's trying there's to no hold anybody down. There's not like you're making yeah. it, so I'm not. Now it's the like the internet great. changed it all because we all have a platform to help now. Whereas before. <laughs> It was like the only way you got successful was through television. Television was the goal, and Honestly, if Tommy got a, a, a TV show, you were like, fuck, that could have been my show. Well, I give it. And so there was this, like, backstabby, weird fucking competition back then. That yeah, now it's like, different. Now if you get a guy... Oh. Now everybody helps everybody. Mm -hmm. That place is different now. If you get like Santino yeah. suddenly from like no podcast to a successful podcast, yeah. now everybody's like, oh, that's another platform I can go on. Exactly. Yeah. It's well, just it's like also good for like everybody. when someone gets a, a Netflix special or something, everybody gets happy. 
and everybody gets pumped. And they, and they also see, like, hey, if you bust your ass and you're good and you work hard, you, you can get one too. You can get one too. Yeah. It's not, it's not like it used to be, man. It was weird, man. When I, when I first got a sitcom and I came out here, 94, I came out with a sitcom. I already had a sitcom. So when I came out here, I came out here to do a sitcom.